Hello again and welcome back. Now in this lecture you are gonna learn the structure of Facebook ads. That is how the Facebook ads actually work from the inside and out. Let's dive in. Now every single ad that we create on Facebook has three different levels on them and all of these different levels work upon each other. So we're gonna take this from the very beginning and see how they correlate with each other. Meaning, if you make a decision from the top, that decision is going to affect the hierarchy at the bottom. Let me show you what I mean. So starting off, the first thing that we have done or started doing is looking at different campaigns. So what are different campaigns? Well, in the campaign, we have different objectives, right? And we were looking at, do we wanna drive traffic? We're looking at do we want to generate leads? Do we want to focus on conversions, engagement? Do we want to do awareness? All of those different objectives are set at the campaign level, right? That is the highest level. When you decide what your objective is, then everything that we set up after that is going to be focused on that very objective. So that means that if we set the objective for traffic, for example, then everything in the coming layers are going to be focused towards actually driving traffic. Once again, let's dive deeper to connect all of the dots here. So first of all, we go to the campaign and that's where we set our objective. That's the only thing we really need to set there. Next up, we go to the next level and that level is known as the ad set. Now in the ad set, if you look to the left, we have a couple of more options. We can set things such as who the audience is actually going to be. We can set things as where our ad is actually going to show up. Do we want to show it on Facebook? Do we want to sh show it on mobiles only? Do we want to show it on Instagram, for example? We are also going to set the budget for that ad set. So that means that once you have selected your campaign objective, let's say traffic, you can inside of that campaign create as many ad sets as you want. Each of these ad sets are going to have a different audience and each of these ad sets are going to have a different and unique budget. Of course, you can set the same budget and the same audience in different ad sets, but they will be unique. Meaning, if you create one ad set with a $5 budget and another ad set with a $5 budget, well then you're currently spending $10 on your ads, right? Because on the ad set level, you're setting your budget. But all of these ad sets, no matter if you create one or a hundred, will be focused on driving traffic because they are in that campaign. Now, inside of the ad set is something known as ads. Now, ads are also sometimes known as ad designs or ad creatives. And this is going to be the actual look of your ads. Now, if we look to the left once again, this is where we decide things such as what is the format going to be of your ad? Is it going to be a video? Is it going to be a single image? Is it going to be multiple images? Is it going to be a slideshow? Is it going to be a carousel? So that format is decided in this ad. We're also going to decide what kind of picture, what kind of video we're going to use. We're going to decide things such as what kind of headlines, what kind of text we're going to use. All of these things are decided on the ad level. And that also means that in a single ad set, where you have, remember, a unique budget and a unique audience, you could have a hundred different ads, right? But all of those hundred different ads are going to work from that same budget, are going to go towards that specific audience. So this is the hierarchy of Facebook ads. So that means that when you first of all set your objective in the campaign level, that objective transfers over to the ad set. Now here, when you set your ad set, that is where you're gonna decide things such as the budget, such as who the audience is going to be, where your ad is gonna show up. And then when you create your ads, also known as ad designs or ad creatives, that is going to be the actual look of your ad. And those ads are going to work from a single ad set. So that means that multiple ad sets can have multiple ad designs. So if this feels confusing to you, don't worry about it because we are going to work through the layers together and you are going to understand this concept very quickly. To have one last overview to understand how this works, first of all, we set the campaign and that is going to be what the objective is going to be. Let's say drive traffic. Then we go to the ad set. That is where we set the budget, we set the placement and we set who our audience actually will be. 
And then finally we go to the design and that is where we decide the look of the actual ad. Now understand that your audience is only going to be seeing the ad design, right? So that is where all of the magic happens from the audience point of view. But to actually find that audience, we need to set our ad set and to know where we're going to aim that ad set and how we're going to target that audience, we need to set our campaign objective. So this is how Facebook ads are structured. And as we go through the layers in the upcoming lectures, this is going to make more and more sense for you. Don't worry about it. I promise you the concept is actually easy when we actually start setting this up on screen. And once we've gone through it, you can come back to this lecture and I promise you it's going to make so much more sense. So if you're ready, what we're going to do is that we are going to go back in here. We are going to click on traffic scroll down we are not going to be clicking on anything such as a b test or campaign campaign budget optimization because we're going to go through that later and then we are going to click on continue there we go now we've just set our campaign objective and we have just moved on to the ad set level and remember this is where the magic happens such as we start deciding on our audience placements and of course budget, but also so much more. So let's go through this one step at a time together. See you in the next lecture.